so I think that we can start with the case study. The, the case study will be um, presented by me. Uh, I'm a co-founder of Sociomania, which is uh, uh, which expertise is uh, in service design um, connected to digital uh, in our DNA, but not only. And uh, the second part uh, of my expertise uh, is uh, food um, and gastronomy business and today I will be focusing on the sustainable food systems and uh, the, um, the presentation about how to create sustainable services and save food value uh, which is presented in a project named Rebread, uh, which is an organization and now I will have a technical like 30 seconds because I will uh, switch the presentation for the case study. Uh, so um, let's get ready for that. Mm -hmm. And Thomas will tell me, yes, yes. I, I saw the fingers um, mm -hmm. Up, so I see that everything is okay, and then that the slides are here. Uh, okay, so let's start. Um, this project for me, it's really uh, something which I'm really passionate about. Uh, my uh, my expertise in service design is built. It's having built uh, built it from um, since I think 2000. 13. But this is uh, uh, my new service, which is created uh, from integration of other projects and services that I uh, made uh, since 2017. Uh, and the mission of this project um, and the service, because today I will show you the idea, the mission of that, also the uh, fundament, the basis uh, of service um, logic, dominant logic, which is uh, implemented here. Uh, something about the process um, that this project and these services are, are made of and some proofs uh, when it comes to uh, the process, service design process. And uh, the mission of the project, because I, will, I need to start with that, is that Rebred, uh, uh, when we think about the rebread, we tell people that we save leftover bread from being treated as a waste uh, and transform it into valuable products and services, of course. Uh, but uh, the mm, definition of product here, you will see, because we are managing a real uh, thing, the bread. Uh, so we need to uh, also um, put emphasis that uh, that we have here uh, products that are delivered to people, delivered to build better experiences, but also services for um, service um, actors that are here, um, which are of course bakeries, but also other other uh, other people and other organizations that I will be talking today about. Uh, everything started with a problem. That, uh, that's always uh, uh, everything is started with or it's supposed to start. Uh, the problem and the challenge, uh, because uh, me and Bartek, Bartek is my co-partner, uh, we are um, managing the um, artisan bakery and the gastronomy concept, which is uh, connected with free uh, restaurants, uh, the bakery, um, and also uh, and also distribution places like uh, markets and shops uh, which are uh, selling our products. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, me and Bartek in our uh, restaurant uh, where we uh, sell uh, um, our bread. Uh, and the problem was that um, when it comes to um, bread wasted uh, annually uh, in Poland, it's the number, it's like really a big number. As you can see here, it's, uh, um, uh, it's like 5 million tons of bread wasted annually. It's uh, when it comes to other numbers, it's uh, over 184 loaves trashed every second. Uh, and um, five tons uh, unsold a bread per industrial bakery per month. So the numbers from the reports, uh, Polish reports, are like, I think, 
really, really uh, not optimistic because the bread is something which is uh, treated um, also as a waste, but also uh, when it comes to wasted products uh, from food products, it's uh, in Poland, it's over 40% of all uh, wasted um, food. So uh, we can, uh, I think that you know that we can see uh, the bread uh, lying on the, on the grass or uh, in many uh, trash bins. So this is something which is really a, a great, uh, a big problem and a big challenge to, to manage. And if you have your own bakery, artisan bakery, uh, and in Krakow, for example, in my, uh, uh, in my city that I live, uh, there is over 25 uh, bakeries, artisan bakeries. You know that um, the product is really, um, when it comes to price of the flour or other really quality products, they are really big, uh, they are really high. Uh, and also uh, when you put uh, all of your heart to create a loaf of bread, uh, which is then um, uh, created in a process of 24 hours, when we think about the artisan bread, of course, with any additives like yeast or other preservatives or something which is um, uh, creating um, the process, uh, optimizing the process of, uh, of, um, of the bread. Uh, um, you know that it's really hard to trash any loaf of bread. So this was our challenge in our bakery. Uh, and uh, it was really important to, to think about how to, how to manage that. So the handle leg here uh, on the left, uh, it's, uh, it's this gastronomy concept with a bakery. And then because we had this challenge of not uh, trashing unsold bread with managing the unsold bread, but also uh, helping other bakeries, helping other uh, organization to manage this amount of bread wasted uh, annually. Uh, we created something like a spin-off between Handelek and Rebred. So uh, we make a startup inside our main company, which, was, uh, which is Handelek. Then we create the concept of services for other bakeries and other organizations, uh, how to manage the bread. I will be talking more about the services and uh, in details. Uh, of course, um, for us, these two... Uh, to organizations, to projects are a place, a space for research and innovation uh, because Handelek is on the market for, uh, since 2017. So we had uh, uh, thousands of customers uh, every day. Uh, um, and there are uh, hundreds of customers coming to, to handle like restaurants and bakery. Uh, so we really have a um, great amount of feedback, but also people who can co-create with us uh, um, these uh, services and, and pro products. And of course, this is something like a base for sales and marketing, but also to create a more viability of this mission. Uh, so the basis of the whole concept when we think about the service dominant logic premises and uh, fundamentals is of course uh, resource integration between two uh, two organizations but also uh, resources uh, which which are the basis uh, from handelec and are uh, are creating the dynamic and performance of the of the new project of of rebred and also uh, resources like a bread because we create these uh, resources and then we need to manage them uh, and help other uh, organizations other bakeries to 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 manage and uh, what we have done at the first time we uh, create something like a I, I can say that this integration wheel, uh, but this, uh, this is something which we uh, created for the bakeries. And we had uh, a couple of uh, um, uh, workshops uh, in Poland and, uh, and meetings with other artisan bakeries about this challenge of wasting bread, about unsold bread in their places, how to manage that. And also we create the integration wheel for analyzing 
analyze uh, what are their resources, what they uh, are the other problems that they have in bakeries and their uh, places that they sell um, services and, and products. And um, uh, um, this was something like a base for uh, create a service um, for other bakeries, not only for, for our bread uh, rebread project, not only for our challenge in our bakery. Uh, of course, this is in Polish, uh, but uh, but this is something that uh, was a base for meetings and to um, and creating the really the value for other uh, organizations uh, in Krakow, but also in Warsaw and other cities in uh, in Poland. 